Hello and welcome to this ONDR module video about the Strathstone Limited Edition XKR. This is video 138 in our series of XK videos. In this video we're going to try and detail as much as we can about the very special end of the model year uh, X100 Strathstone Limited Edition. I couldn't help start the video with that sound of that luscious sports exhaust on uh, one of the viewers' cars, uh, Joseph. We're going to feature Joseph's car heavily in this video, so keep an eye out for that. Um, we're doing this video as a bit of a series on um, uh, special editions for uh, X100s. Um, we've had a look at a few modified uh, non-OEM ones, and uh, the Strathstone is probably the final non-OEM. Um, limited edition car. If you're interested in that sort of stuff, please take a look at video 133 Racing Green, and we feature all the Racing Green uh, performance modifications. There's a complete price list in there, including the two uh, uh, complete cars they built the Tempest and the Typhoon. The, this week, the video is going to be split up into three sections. First, we're looking at, going to look at Joseph's car convertible uh, three of thirty. Uh, sorry, nine of thirty. Uh, secondly, we're going to look at the detail uh, change in the specification uh, for this particular limited edition. And finally, uh, section three: look at the value today in 2021. So, are they going up, down? What is the rough value of these cars in the market? If you're interested in this video, you're going to be interested in our uh, YouTube channel, ONDR Module. It's all about X100s, XK8s, XKRs. Please take a look. At, there's lots of content on there. Okay, then. Section 1, then. The convertible 9 of 30. Now, Joseph, one of our viewers, was kind enough to send us these walk-around videos. And you can take a good look and... Sort of uh, dive into the lovely uh, bodywork of this Strathstone Limited Edition with its enhanced body styling, big 20 inch alloy wheels. This is um, satin silver, I think, this colour with a black roof, black sports interior. Lovely, lovely stuff. It's got a uh, the big Oz 20 inch alloy wheels with the Strathstone Limited Edition uh, badging just underneath the side repeater or indicator. Looking at the interior, as I say, we've got black sports leather. Lovely stuff. It's all got actually quite nice white stitching all around to sort of highlight the sports appeal of this car carbon fiber veneers in this case and standard the standard aluminium trim the uh, surrounds gear surrounds dial surrounds pedals etc they got a convertible hood cover so lovely sport seats with the horizontal stitching and then in the back you got the teeny tiny seats for the children with no legs. Okay, let's have a look at the engine. You've got your 4.2 4 litre supercharged engine. Can we start it up, Joseph? As an owner of a XK Coupe, I can only imagine what the cacophony, cacophony of sound you're going to get. You've got the whine of the supercharger up the front, that sports exhaust on the back with the hood down. It's just going to be glorious. I, I'm very, very jealous of your car, Joseph.
I can't get enough of that exhaust. Um, if you notice, yeah, I think he actually frightened his dog. <laughs> his dog wandered off, scurried off into the distance there. Uh, there you go. What a lovely, lovely car. Right, so let's dig into the actual specification. It's basically a 4.2 S plus. Um, just to explain a bit, a little bit about Strastone. Uh, Strastone is uh, based in Mayfair in London, Lardy Da. Um, it says on its website, it's Britain's premier automotive showcase Jaguar dealership in the heart of the capital. So they're bigging themselves up. They're in the most expensive part of the country, selling some high premium cars, and uh, they, they don't shy away from the fact. Very, very plush. Looks very nice. So what they actually did, they've took a Jaguar XKR 4.2S and then added some bits to spice it up. These are the final edition uh, X100 cars, uh, some of the, the last to be made. And basically they've added lots of uh, styling and alloy wheels etc which I'll go through in detail with you. And they did that on 30 cars in total. Uh, 16 coupes and 14 convertibles. In this um, explanation, I've used a lot of photographs that actually were available on Parkway Specialist Cars website, and it looks like a very good place to buy uh, second hand cars. Really nice examples of cars, lots of nice photographs, more importantly for me. So if you're interested in any of the cars, maybe even. Uh, Take a look at uh, Parkway Specialist Cars, www.parkwayspecialistcars.co.uk. Okay, so first of all, colours. So back in model year 2005, stroke 6, the uh, colours were copper black, frost blue, bay blue, satin silver, and all of which are metallic paint. I assume this colour is frost blue, but I could be wrong. Uh, they're all fitted with the XKR engine, they're not normally aspirated, they've all got the supercharger bolted on. So you're looking at the AJ34 with 400 bhp, obviously all V8, 0 60 circa 5.3 seconds. So you're in really uh, junior supercar territory for you know peanut money, Mondeo money as they say. They all come with the same Oz split rim alloys. Um, these multi-spoke alloys are very unique to the Strathdon. I haven't seen them anywhere else, to be honest. Uh, I think they were commissioned, must have been commissioned by the Strathdon people or purchased especially for this. Uh, they're very unique. They're a bit uh, Marmite, in my opinion. They're very similar concept to a lot of the uh, BBS alloy wheels that are sold. So the Milan, uh, in uh, Detroit. Uh, Paris etc but a slight different style lots of spokes again big wheels they show off the calipers really nicely and uh, the uh, the brake disc but there you go 20 inch or split rim alloys obviously they're staggered front and back look, if you look at the back wheels you can see the stagger on the uh, chrome outside uh, rim obviously beneath the indicator as we showed before you have the Strathstone limited edition badge and all the cars uh, come with Brembo performance brakes. Actually, this was introduced, I think it was model year 2003 onwards on all XKRs. So it's not particularly a thing about these uh, Strathdon cars, but it's worth noting they've all got really nice brakes. Four pot calipers, cross drill uh, discs or um, rotors. Uh, the styling... Um, was enhanced slightly from the uh, standard at the time. Um, the model year 2005-06 cars came with silk covers, but actually Strathstone removed those and added the more sporty hard and silk covers. Uh, you notice those are slightly different. They have the sort of the air vent at the rear of the cylinder, and they're not two-piece. The uh, these cars are also lowered. They've got I believe Arden springs and dampers, but I stand to be corrected. You can see at the front, the, that, that wheel is very close to the arch. At the back, they're a little bit higher up, but they're definitely lowered suspension. The cars, they didn't really mess a lot with the front nose because the model year 2005-06 cars 
had a quite a stylish uh, standard front bumper and mesh grille, uh, so they kept that the same. All the cars are actually white badged because they are based on the XKR 4.2S. So they come with white badges, which is quite interesting. I'll show the white badge of a 4.2 litre, but obviously all these have got white uh, Jaguar supercharged with the checkered flag emblems on. Interestingly, uh, because they've used an aftermarket back bumper, there are no rear reflectors. They've not been smoothed out. That's what that bumper comes like. There's no rear reflectors on there. And that's because it's the Arden uh, rear bumper they've used. You can tell it's an Arden because of the, it's got like that uh, diffuser design in between the exhaust tailpipes. All the cars came with sports leather interior. In other words, the seats with a horizontal stitching rather than vertical. There was a choice of uh, sports uh, interior with elm, um, tended to be cream leather interior, or you could have carbon fibre. All the cars came with sat nav. In the case of the carbon fibre, it came with black leather and the white stitching. A sort of bit uh, reminiscent of the uh, XKR Silverstones, which came with black interior with uh, red stitching, but they've gone for white in the case of the Strathstone cars. All the Strathstone had the unique numbered sill plates, and in this case it was, uh, I've got a picture of the 9 of 30 car, which is uh, Joseph's car. The actual car I'm featuring here, which was sold through Parkway, is actually 10 of 30. The cars, uh, all these cars have a larger rear spoiler, but again, that's a model year 2006 change. But it isn't particularly special uh, for Strathstone, but it is special for the end of the line cars. Uh, what is a uh, change for Strathstone is the, the sports louder exhaust system, which I assume is a back box delete, possibly over axle pipes. I don't know for sure. I haven't been, had the opportunity to look underneath one of these things. If you do know, please contact the channel and let us know how how big a modified exhaust are they. Again, we got some Strathstone limited edition badging at the rear of the car underneath the tail lights. Uh, there were, as I said at the beginning, Strathstone, there was 14 convertibles with the color coordinated hoods in this case, and there were 16. Coupes. So the last section then, what is the value now in 2021? So we've had a bit of a look round. Fortunately, there was uh, there was a XK8 4.2 liter S, so standard XK8 uh, convertible. It's leather interior, low mileage, carbon dash, very very similar spec, other than the add-ons. And that actually sold at auction with Car and Classics this week for £19,550. Uh, I'd just like to thank uh, Rob for highlighting that to me. Thank you very much, Rob. Much appreciated. So, a standard car is worth uh, just under twenty grand in good condition, low mileage. So, what are these enhanced 4.2S Plus cars worth? So, a coupe I saw advertised recently it's since gone that was for sale on car and classic again it's advertised in lincoln for twenty four thousand five hundred. i'm not sure if the guy got that sort of money or he's decided not to sell it but that's the sort of uh, region he was looking for there was a convertible for sale this is actually joseph's car we featured earlier that actually sold on auction in uh 2019 for 16428 quite a bargain realistically with classic car auctions and joseph actually bought it retail for aram from aram at uh, 21995 which it looks like a little bit of a bargain to be honest i'm sure it got a bit knocked off but uh, a real bargain for a very very special car if um just before we finish, if you're a Strathstone owner and you've noticed any mistakes we've made or any errors, 
please contact us and correct us and we'll we'll make remake the video and uh, correct any errors so please uh, give us your input i'd like to thank joseph uh, Strathstone Mayfair, obviously, and Parkway Specialist Cars for those great photographs I've used. And I'd like to thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you'd like to see more XK videos.